Yo, Shani Culture here. This is Culture. You already know what it is. I have here live in the flesh. Pull. Kabaka Pyramid. <laughs> Wild wow, one represent. You're good. So now listen, you I already see how it's going down. Bless up to Dusty Media, you know what I'm saying? She yeah. do everything fresh and stylish. Right. Ronnie, big up yourself, of course. You know, so we was able to come in and see some of the interview. Or actually you were doing a listening party and yeah, really the explaining album. the album. Yeah. You know, let the people know, like, first, what is the name of the album for the public? Yeah, so it's the calling. Mm -hmm. um, this is my second official album. It's you know dropping, release into the world September thirtieth, and um, just really proud of this body of work. Right. right. So Every it came out already. Yeah, exactly. It came mm -hmm. out September thirtieth. It's been out now, and you know Damian Marley on the production. True. Mm -hmm. Right throughout the album, and it's just a great vibe working with him and exploring my creativity as an artist. You know. So how long did it take to put the album together? Like, were you working through the pandemic or? Definitely, it's been mm -hmm. basically a pandemic album. Right. So from you know, early 2020, late 2019, go straight forward to 2002. Mm -hmm. We just been fine tuning the album, working on a bunch of tracks. You know, we maybe did like, you know, 20, 30 tracks and then we'll cut it down to like 15 mm -hmm. for the final thing, you know, and yeah, we just touch, touch on a wide variety of topics and sounds and production styles, everything. Right. So now some of the artists that I've spoken to that have made uh, pandemic albums, so to speak, yeah. you know, that time to sit down and really reflect or be alone or however we want to call it has brought out different things in the music, right? Definitely. Some good, some bad, some good hmm. habits, some bad habits, right? Some want to say they started to drink more. And yeah, that yeah, to come yeah, into yeah. The record. Some went more into meditations and things. Yeah. But is there any Anything that you went through during that time that you poured out into your music and what tunes were those hmm. that we can uh, look into? Yes, yeah, so it's very interesting I have a song called Addiction. You, you know, see, <laughs> that came from that time. Yeah, like and it what really... What type of addiction is this? So in the song, I touch on different topics in each verse. So mm -hmm. the first verse we're talking about like just a cell phone. Just being mm -hmm. on social media and the phones all the time. Yeah. And I feel like that's one thing that the, the pandemic really kind of forced us into this social media culture. Mm -hmm. Where we're just on the phone, we're interacting with everybody through right. the phones. It was the only social interaction it's we the had. the only social interaction. We had to social distance. So it was just a phone thing. Right. And then because of that now, we couldn't really go out and do shopping. So you had to go up on like Amazon. Right. So the second verse I talk about like online shopping. Right. You know, and that becoming a thing where every day you're on your phone looking for the, the tracking, the shipping for the next package that come in and right. the package all are come to your door all the next day. Right. And you know, them are, yeah, they right. make sure say everything convenient for you, stick with it, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, and the third verse we talk about sugar. You know, and just one of the, the worst thing, addictions. One of the worst addictions. And people and don't even know it's a drug like that. It's really a drug, literally. Mm -hmm. You know, so definitely that's one of the songs I would say the pandemic inspired and the situations yeah. around it inspired that for sure. And so now you've been doing music for how long? <laughs> it's been a while. I would say from we just come out of high school, like 2002. Yeah. Yeah, we've been making music. I've been really on the reggae scene from like 2011 though. Mm. So the whole time between then I was just working on my craft. So you was doing music from before high school, like in the house singing and kind of... What be, made you know that little, music was a role? So, so I, before high school, like in, a, in a my younger days, I was somebody where I, peer, I used to just make joke. Mm -hmm. You was that, that person where I make beer joke. Mm -hmm. So me usually like change up the people's songs and I'll make it more jokey. Right. So that's how I used to really learn right, how to right, construct right. lyrics, like changing up songs and them thing. But I, I never really saw myself as being an artist until mm -hmm. after high school. Mm -hmm. During the latter part of high school, we had a sound system. 
So we used to play music out. We used to set up a speaker them and build up a wall them and play techniques, turntable them and all them something there. Mm. And um, then we transitioned to CD and making mixtapes. I used to make the remix them on the computer mm. and put like the dancehall and the reggae a cappella them over the hip hop beats mm. and them mm. kind of thing. Mm. So that really was my introduction to making music. And then I start to write around that time too. You said, all right, I'm going to do this as a profession. This my thing. Yeah. So what was the first song that got you on the scene like to you that was like all right this is the tune that i feel like i'm gonna really pursue this for real because this really kind of bust me so it's two it's two answers to that right so i did a project called rebel music mm -hmm. and the song that inspired me to do the project where i knew i was ready to step into reggae was a song called better must come mm. but that wasn't necessarily the song where bust me but that was the song where show say the vision I had for music, which was fusing reggae with elements of hip hop, mm -hmm. I felt like I was ready to do that. Mm -hmm. And that was the song that did it. But there was another song on the project yeah, called Better Must Come Go. Like one go. day, better must come. Say we have to make a way, cheddar must run, yeah. Politicians say we better bust gun, figure, make the blood run, tell them get accustomed <laughs> so that's to it. To move. Yeah, it's them right, kind so of vibe. Sure. Yeah. I did it with my bridge in Cora Fire. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, but on the same project, though, I released a song called Free From Chains. Mm -hmm. But me I said, Kabaka Pyramid, that is my name. The game, it will never be the same. Mm -hmm. Rebel music, I bring the chains. Right, right, right. So free to get a use from the chains. Me used to burn the weed a lot. Now me start to read a lot. Out loud about how the system was to keep us. Locked up in the prison, mentally, them can't defeat us. In the streets where my feet touch, cause the school, they never teach us. Nothing but we African features. Now them have to turn we in a claffies and divas. Huh? Office as preachers, doctors and lawyers are liars, we royal alliance are you keep up, and, you know it's them kind of but the thing about that song, I actually wrote that song to a hip hop beat, Yeah, it was Common Resurrection, right, I went straight to the, yeah and the then I ended up producing a reggae rhythm around it where I sample a Aine Kamosi record right, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so that was kind of the old thing is really just bringing reggae Kinda in a hip hop frame. Right. That was the whole theme behind the the, the, the the early part of the journey. And then, you know, after that now st start getting recognition from Europe, then mm -hmm. producers start from Europe start sending me rhythms that they're making over there. And then after I start tour for Europe now, like Jamaican producers start pick up the thing. Right. And you know, like Chimney Records, it send me Tropical Escape mm -hmm. Rhythm for we know right. one of capitalists. Right. And that mm -hmm. kind of give me the exposure in Jamaica. Right. And so, wait, so what's the, what's the video, the first video that started to really spread? And let's go to that. <laughs> so the, the first one would have been on that Rebel Music Project, a song called Warrior with Protégé. Mm -hmm. That was 2012. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You know, yeah, I think that video is over six mil now, but back then that was the first video for like reach a 500 toes and reach a mil, you know what right, I mean? It was right. like the first video we put on the map, so Big Up Protégé Panda, it was produced by it was produced by Chronics and Teflon, and this one is called Warrior. All right, yes. boom. Yeah, man, for the Warriors, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Warrior today, warrior tomorrow same way Man a real warrior today, tomorrow we now go straight yeah, yeah. Man a real warrior today, warrior tomorrow same way Man a real warrior today, tomorrow we now go straight Man a survivor Black version of MacGyver To the people, them where you cry to Nina, say me and me own a designer Lina, Judah, Selassie, Alpha, Riper In a them, you're tiny Oneness, I am not your plifer Deep in a meditation, me take a dive yeah. Link Bobo, you orthodox and 12 tribe yeah. Them thing the people be remind of Yeah, yeah Man a real warrior today Warrior tomorrow, same way Yeah, yeah Man a real warrior today Tomorrow we now go straight Man a real warrior today Warrior tomorrow same way Man a real warrior today Tomorrow we now go straight I and I now have no fear Black version of Guavira 
fight the direction they must steer you The truth we after And we can't falter Say Kabaka Hold the other play the part See them come for slaughter the youth And alter the truth And capture the spirit and then rapture recruits When I actually you Determine the action, the move The finition of a warrior for true Message we a carrier for use History of the brothers, them abuse Take a step in them shoes So you dead them man Morat be a rebellion Come before the storm with the last in your palm eh, eh. Man a real warrior today Warrior tomorrow same way Man a real warrior today Tomorrow we never stray Warrior See? Alright, hmm. so boom, so now with the new project Um the whole album was produced by Junior Gang. Yeah. This is the word around town. Definitely. <laughs> Gangzilla. So how, how was that? Well, what went into the process of making that happen? It's a great, great energy. So, so we've been working together from, from I did Well Done. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was a very important song for me too. Mm -hmm. It was like kind of the song that really bust me as a solo artist in Jamaica. Right. right. You know, and, and from then, you know, I just been linking him in Miami in studio. Yeah. And we did Contraband album together in 2018. Mm -hmm. And we released that. He only produced five of those songs though. Right. But he always wanted to kind of stamp his vision and, and the sound for me going forward, putting mm -hmm. out albums on his label, Get A Use. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, may I just give you an album? Yeah. You produce everything. Yeah. You know? And a, a lot of people don't know that he produces. You yeah. And then more so as an artist. Exactly. You know? he he does yeah. so much production, even his Grammy album recently, Stony Hill. He yeah. produced majority of those tracks himself. Damien Junior Gang Marley, yeah, big yeah, up yourself, man. top yeah. producer. You know what I'm saying, so what do you want? What song are you leading with off of this project? I'm sure there's so many that give different yeah. variations of yourself. So the, the first big single that really got the album buzzing was Red, Gold and Green. Love that too. Yeah. I need one of them t-shirts. Yeah, yeah, no, no, Red, for sure. We need to line it up. We yeah. need to line it up. But yeah, you know, Red, Gold and Green, the video is out. It's doing really well on YouTube, doing crazy numbers and DJs around the world playing the song. When yeah. we perform it on festivals, everybody know the song already. Right. And sure. yeah, the, the video is great. Like, yeah, for sure. Check it out. So boom, Red, Gold and Green, man. Let's get into it. The people them been locking reggae beat This and not trapping all who feel like them are tapping Really sleeping and them napping while me flying round the world Think man a genie like Aladdin and for water down The message just be streaming I'm not having People in a foreign say them not get no good music So me go on in at the boot and then record like man a cubit Hit the target when me shoot it it no hard to execute This lyrics God me don't tell if you watch me prove it Red, gold and green, red, gold and green Wave the banner from you know your soul clean Red, gold and green, red, gold and green Roots reggae music up in your bloodstream Red, gold and green, red, gold and green Every corner, every lane, and every scheme Red, gold and green, red, gold and green Yes or no, you know where we mean Hear me now Three colors run the four corners of the earth The five oceans, seven seas, seven wonders of the world The bust the seven seals and sound the trumpets of your word Of 1892, the seven month, the 23rd Unto us a son was given, unto us a child was birthed The king of kings, the lord of lords, I listen to the I the first Some of them are weird the colors and them now do them research Now sing along just like we rehearsed Red, gold and green, red, gold and green Wave the banner from you know your soul clean Red, gold and green Red, gold and green Roots reggae music up in your bloodstream Red, gold and green Red, gold and green Boom! Big tune! So now listen, how important was it for you to feel like you had to make a song that just said red, gold and green? 
Yeah, the message in it very important. And and even before the message, we wanted a song that every reggae DJ around the world could play. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to know so the rhythm just the rhythm itself heavy. Like when you hear like all, welcome to Jama rhythm. Mm -hmm. You just know say a big song. Right. And then the words on top of it, the message behind it, just carry it to a different level. Mm -hmm. That's what we wanted with red, gold and green. And um it was important for we really kind of describe and explain to people the message behind the colors of the flag and the Ethiopian flag I want that represent for Rastafari right? mm -hmm. the real meaning there because people see the colors and they see people dress up in a red gold some people think it's Jamaica's colors no, no. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. you know what I mean and them just know said associated with Rasta and reggae right. but what does it really mean what does it mean to us as Rastafari right? Right. so that's really what the song is about and big up to gang for, for dropping a verse and it featuring on it and yeah, yeah. For sure. So um, you proud of this album? Definitely. Yeah, I mean, man, we must proud of it, man, cause we love make me, we live for make music, you know. Mm -hmm. And when you get the chance to work with a gangzilla, mm -hmm. it's like it's just a different blessing. Yeah. In studio every day, every night, kind of just, and and he his music has been so influential in my career. Yeah. His yeah. music is kind of that blueprint for that reggae with the hip hop, dance, or fusion. Yeah. You know, and, and Steve Marley too, yeah. as, a, as a key influence in that. Yeah. And you were talking about fusions um, a minute ago in terms of yeah. coming out of high school with the hip hop and reggae fusion. Yeah, man. Like, what hip hop artists do you like? <laughs> So me's a big me's a big Wu Tang fan. Wu Tang, and, uh, yeah, they yeah, had a show a couple of just, weeks back. Just the other day, yeah. yeah I, I've yeah. been I've been to a couple of their shows before. Yeah. I carried one of my Wallaby <laughs> shoes to, and they, so all of them signed it. All what? of them signed it. Um, That's fire. Um, o, ODB passed at the time though. He he was the only one who didn't sign. Because, really? You know what I mean? But. From RZA to Jizza, you know what I mean, Raycon, Ghost, yeah, yeah. Ma, you know, Master Killer, everybody, Method, Method Man, man everybody that. signed the shoe for me. Wow. You know, and... You have it up on ourselves for it now. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get I that. I used to wear that shit, bro. What? You have you wilding. You can't have a door. What? You can't, yo. You see, this is where we disagree, man. Clash. No. Nah, <laughs> I, I always that. tell myself I wanted to frame it, but I just never got around right, to it, right, bro. Right, right, right. So where they at now? I was hoping you never got to ask me that. <laughs> I have it somewhere. <laughs> no, nah, but for real now, nah, Wu-Tang is like, when it comes to hip-hop. one life, right? One life. Yeah, man. one life. Wear it, wear it. When it, it comes to, when it come to Wu-Tang though, that's, yeah, that, when it comes to hip-hop, that's my heart and soul, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously, you know, Nas, I'm a big Common fan too. Come you know what I mean? Him, yeah, him. So you ever try to rap? play on the lyric? Brother. Am I missing I'm, something I'm a rapper, son. Do I need to beatbox, bruh? Give me a beat, man. <laughs> yeah. Give me a beat, man. What you now, got? I didn't really think what I was going to have to beatbox. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Check it. Yeah, I spit food for thought. The federation coming through like ventilation. Back and forth like vibration. Creating separation from you, wet man. The track sends signals to my medulla. I respond like mutant ninja turtles in the sewer when I kick shit. Crossing specific names off my hit list, niggas. Soften the biscuits, trying to take a stand like witness. You'll forget this. My lyrical fitness has no resistance. The game, I got it locked. All these dudes got it twisted. Like DNA, my thoughts in perpetual motion. It's best you move no closer to the microphone controller. Let's just back. I don't give a damn what the rest rap. You hear verse from anyone in K6, don't test All right, that. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he was gonna better. keep going. I'm telling you, Yo, y'all ain't never seen that before, yo. I'm telling you, Y'all ain't man. even know that before the culture movement, yo. Brother. This is culture right here, man. Listen, let's go into the last tune, um, the last video, the calling. You know what I'm saying? The name of the album is called the calling. This is the title track. Let them know about it, and we're gonna be out of here. Yeah, man, so the calling is, is, is one of the bombs on the album for me personally mm, wow. you know it's, it's continuing on the same message of really saying what Rastafari is about See. you know what I mean and and yeah Stephen Marley is on it yeah, the man. legend mm -hmm. Protégé is on it Jesse Ryle is on mm -hmm. it so it's really just unity for, for you know what I mean Stephen Marley kind of sending out the younger generation for sale 
how we are represent Rastafari right mm, now. Mm. You know, what, what is it really about? So yeah, that's what the calling is about and we get called to do this. Oh, you know, this is the title track, the video is out. Check it out now, the calling. My sisters more better let them throw Any more profits yeah. It's not about no doctrine or religion It's my actions and decisions Cause these trucks them on a sink And them impact how people live But some up with us lacking vision I know you're not for be a mathematician For see how poverty attracts attrition sure. The youth them growing up without no stable father figures And the school not really give them no foundation Figure bill pants So them take it to the street And all them faces opposition And restriction from police and politicians Every day I just the same Yo, the calling. Yo, Kabaka Pyramid, man. Y'all seen a lot of things here, you already know. This is culture, man. <laughs> Big up Lionheart, man. Big Rastafari, respect, man. Every time. Rastafari.